This penis has killed more turtles than <laughs> well, stop. six pack plastic rings. How many turtles have you dicked down? <laughs> Look, if the answer is more than nine. <laughs> you know how hard it is to make a real life Ninja Turtle. You know I love Ninja <laughs> Turtles. <laughs> Y'all are going to be real jealous when I got my own. <laughs> you know how hard it is to make a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> people to the horrible opinions podcast and we've got the fourth and final chapter of our friday the 13th series for you all here today right it's the final one right it says the final chapter surely it there's not it did say the final chapter surely there's not like eight more of these right nope that would never happen nope pretty sure 1984 yep it's the last time they ever made one of these yep it's had some great stay in power. They actually just stopped making movies entirely after this. Right. Yeah. Mission accomplished. And and much like this movie, I am still your horrible host, who's back here the very next day after the last Friday the 13th, which was not the final chapter like that one. That's me. I just described me to a T, Kenny. I don't understand. I'm Daniel. I don't understand. I, I thought I knew who Kenny was, but then Kenny just described who he was, and now I don't know him. I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. You, you never go full Britney Spears. I'm Ryan. Oh. Oh. Leave Britney alone. Well, this I would, but Corey Feldman brought her back up. I, if anything, she copied his style. Mm, I'm glad we're on the same page on this. Yeah, so let's get slashing into this not-so-final... <laughs> hacking final and whacking and character. slashing. Yeah, let's get, let's, there's a lot of whacking in this movie. Buzz cutting. Yeah. Friday the 13th, the final chapter, the fourth Let's get it, fellas. It's the final one we're doing. Okay, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Who wants to hit me with the totally original synopsis of this fourth and final-ish chapter? I know I said they killed Jason in the last movie, but no one really believed that, right? Well, he, they did, though. Seeing how there were 13 billion movies after that one, I didn't think that was true. Well, well, yeah, the thing is it made money, so here we are! Because money... <laughs> okay, so here we go. This one has an actual pretty unique take. We have a group of friends going out to a cabin, yep. uh -huh. and they are stalked and murdered by a masked killer. Wait. Revolutionary. No, 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 we're doing the final chapter. And the you, killer... You just, you just described every single one of them. No, okay, this one's different because we introduced the element of Corey Feldman. It's a strong element, not to mention the element of young Studley Crispin Glover. I had I had two hopes in rewatching this because I couldn't remember this movie. My hopes was, oh man, I hope we get a good recap of every movie that's ever come before it because that'll really help me remember what oh has happened. Oh my god. And I, hey, it's tradition. Look, tradition. You know, I, you, you know, know how, how 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 they say like horror movies. They're supposed to set up like the final shit. girls, a, a virgin, uh, and all this shit. No, what these movies were supposed to set up was that you do a recap of the previous movies in the current movie. You, that's what should have been continued. Okay. I don't want to shit this on someone's might, tradition, but this tradition is ass, and I hate it. This might be the last one because one of the trivia things I was pulling up or whatever, not even so much trivia, is. This is the last one in the series to pick up immediately where the last one left off. Because it's the final chapter, right? There's not another film. There, there's none after that. The other thing I wanted was I wanted them to go back to the good, the good music, the good soundtrack. You know, and did they? They did. We, we got back like the classical instruments, symphony, band music, not the I don't, I, whatever that was in well, part three. I see that so far we're on the same page of how we're feeling about this movie. And it's, here's where we diverge. Go ahead. So it's a the, they always try to slightly change it up, but it's still the same fucking thing. So this time it's our characters. We've got a small family that lives at the lake, a mother, an older daughter, and then young Corey Feldman, who's, I don't know, we'll, we'll just say a little talented little special effects motherfucker. It's a nice mask. You're getting pretty terrific at making those things. 
Thanks. I just customized it. And we've got their dog. What was it, Gordon? And then there's a uh, cabin. Rim job a larger is the name of the dog. Uh, yes, rim job. We got a larger <laughs> cabin, I guess, just across the way from them, where our group of teenagers have rented out. So it's not just we're not opening the summer camp or anything. Now it's just these are other people that are on the lake. The thing is, this is all okay. So we had a time jump after the first movie, right? How long was it between the end of the first movie and then? I think it was Jason? a year. Like a year. It's like a year. That's our biggest time jump because I think between two and three, it's next day. Between three and four, it's next day. Yes. So he has been last two, three days. He has been killing, and then we've had cops show up and stuff like that. So this family lives there on the lake. Yeah, but they weren't around for that. Okay, let me say something positive, which was when they in the title scene where we get like the now iconic hockey mask coming at us. It has the the knife wound from the previous movie. Up at the top of the head. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, good, good attention to detail. That's awesome. That's awesome. And the hockey mask is starting to look a lot better, like, compared to when he first put it on, and it looks just fucking stupid. Yeah. I also liked that we... So they go, they're picking up bodies, they're putting them into ambulances, and then they're taking them to a hospital. So we get a, what I'll call, like, a... Jason is being taken to civilization. He's no longer out in the woods around a camp. He's now in a, like an actual hospital. And so and that's a, that was that's a, new, a unique a thing. new setting. Yeah. I wonder if they might play into that in a later movie. A new setting? Well, not this one. Not this one. No, no. When did Halloween 2 come out, Brian? Uh, you, you got me. I don't know. Oh, I was actually asking you. Shit. The first one was 78. 2009. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, why are you showing me that one? 1981. So Halloween 2 was 81. This was 84. So do you think they just wanted to send Jason to the hospital because Michael got to go to the hospital? I think, eh, I don't know. I mean, I think they wanted to give him uh, uh, the briefest of moments somewhere else, or they just wanted to show us how he gets from point A to point B and what happens in between. And maybe why he's not necessarily on his part of the lake. Yeah, I'm just coming back. Oh, they I dropped him off people. at the wrong part. Wrong part. He's scared. Okay, well, here's what you got to remember. Part... When he leaves the morgue, he he walked from wherever that is all the way back to the lake. Which is impressive that yeah, he knows how to just walk back to the lake from anywhere. Well, he's like but a he's like a sea imagine, turtle. A calling. Yeah, he's a, yeah, cute little sea turtle. Yeah, they took two years to make this one. The first one where they doubled the amount of time before it released, and I think it shows. Kenny, question time. Ready? Shoot. Roger Ebert called this movie A, an immoral and reprehensible piece of trash. B, uh -huh. truly the worst trash in a series of dumpster fires. C, a pointless entry with a bizarre ending. Or D, another example of what's wrong with kids these days. I'm going to say B. Truly the worst trash in a series of dumpster fires. I feel like he probably doesn't like any of these. I think you're correct. However, they're the... His actual quote, the B, C, and D are mine. Uh, a was his. An oh. immoral and reprehensible piece of trash. Yeah, he got better with his reviews on horror later in later years, I think. Now, I'm going to... But wasn't he, one of the one, wasn't he one of the ones that was also dogging on the lady who played Pamela Voorhees because she was not playing the same lovable type character that her fans expected her to be? Wasn't he part of that what crowd? What a dumb critique. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think this is a piece of trash. I don't, so. I'm not a piece of shit. Suck it, Roger. Suck it, Roger. I do Roger. like saying those quotes, though, because they're amazing. It is, it is so good. This movie is probably our, probably has our biggest names in it since the first one, right? Who, did we have anyone big in part two or part three? Jason. Well, okay, yeah, he is who, big. Who are you going to say is a big name in this one? Corey Feldman and Crispin Glover. Yeah, okay. Crispin. I was, I was trying to think, like, at the time, they wouldn't have been big names. No, no. Okay. Well, Kevin Bacon at the time wasn't big in one. I'm sure. saying like this is oh, someone who's about to watch this. Well, those weren't bacon bits. That was a whole bacon. That was a whole hog. Hog. Yeah. 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 I, well, I've seen it. I'm going back to sleep for five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming of bacon. <laughs> Dreaming of bacon. Bacon. No, right off the bat, like I, right off the bat, I think you can tell they're putting more time in between the third and the fourth one. I think shows. Oh, uh, but that, here's the that, thing: it, if they had put even more time in. The periodic table that you could see in the back would be different. Oh yeah, in the hospital they got a, they have a periodic, you know, the periodic table of elements. They got that yeah. chart up on the wall. 
Uh huh. Not our periodic table of elements because new elements get added all the time. Isn't that crazy? Is this a, is this a general <laughs> thought or were you like, were there some thought. big element drops? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought you had. Oh, you're, oh, you're going to be like the people who noticed the wrong Legos no, in a I don't movie. No, like, I don't think it's wrong. It's just, it uh, it looked weird. And then I looked even up. Even one month later, even one month later, they added Einsteinium. Well, don't get me started on like the, the Therinium Wars or whatever the fuck, you know. Periodic, ta- also, periodic table heads will get that one. Oof. Uh, oh, also, Daniel, huh. the uh, the director of this <laughs> one is was completely with you, and I'm kind of with you, too. Huh? He did not want to have that fucking recap at the beginning of the movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I agree. My thinking is, at this point, do we have to explain who Jason is? This is the fourth fucking movie. It's the movie. same people you know, watching the movies over and over, so... Yeah. But there's, it's, there's, no, there's no video market, right? There's home like, video? Or ho- I guess there's, is there, there's renting. Is there renting? Is there renting? Oh, I don't... This is, like... Hey, this is 84 oh. before the invention of Look, DNA as well. We couldn't even figure out when that's Reagan was a president. It's during so this time. That's why know. it's the dark times. I thought it was the late 80s. Was it the early 80s? Daniel? Well, he's president for eight years. 82 to 90. The most of the 80s. What I just said, but I don't know if that's right. God, Challenge we're getting me. slammed on a Reagan podcast right now. <laughs> oh, Reagan boys are not going to like this one. <laughs> Reagan boys, not going to like this. So are, are all morgue attendees and doctors perverts? That's not this even a morgue. S- sexual deviant. What is that? I don't oh, I know. Guess. It's a hot. It's a hospital. It's just a it's hospital. the morgue portion of the hospital. But why is like he you've... not? Why is he wait so long to put the body up? Because he's trying to fuck. <laughs> put the body up and then fuck. I'm free, doll. No bargain at twice the price. Hey, what's the matter? I have a headache, Axel. For you, I always have a headache. Oh, I can fix that. Yeah. Meet me in the cold room. I'm closing up for the night. What do you say? Okay. Do your job. No, he wants to fuck no, I cannot stand part of the fun is having the dead body in the room. do not do their job. He has, oh a, my God. He has so, a very specific fetish. Okay, how, how, we get through the recap. Let's let's get into this, bitch. Uh, we get through that, that recap we need. And his, and his fetish are dead people's feet. He loves it when they pop out from under the gurney to scare people. We find Jason dead on the ground. Jason did die at the end of the last movie. He was dead. Did he? We load him up. We get a minority right off the bat actually... In a respectful job. Wait. And then we never what? see <laughs> another on. one. <laughs> Rephrase that. Yeah, okay, look, what I'm saying is we've we've <laughs> we've not had very diverse casts in this. We just had we a get, bunch of uh Oh let, 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 I'll get there. So and the it was the second movie we we had one of the random counselors there. They had they had a young black man who said like one line and then was gone the rest of the movie. Didn't even get killed, nothing. And the third movie we got our only minorities were a random ass biker gang in this podunk town. So like, okay, they're not so good people. They're bikers. You don't know they're like, not okay. good people. You're assuming bikers aren't good people just because they're bikers. Well, no, you they know what? You're it. not good people because you're ginger. I I, you ginger look, son of a the bitch. Record show, I'm not good people. And then, so I'm like, okay, and we get right off the bat, we get a um, like an ambulance like person, uh, what a paramedic, like an African American paramedic lady. And I was like, oh, okay, see. Now we're letting them have good jobs. Like we're tr- maybe they're trying, but then again, we never see her or another minority again. Why? It <laughs> these are so white. These are very white movies. Yeah, they're very white movies. So I'm just paying attention to see when we finally get like <laughs> not probably when he white. goes to space. There is a yes. Okay, I I'm thinking we get there before then though. So in yeah, space, that was my oh. humans are the minority. Think about that. Oh shit! That was the only uh, point I had to that scene. Was like that was our only minority. If if you guys are get... finished with your minority report, <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, <laughs> yeah, you like that? Uh, hey, hey, Daniel, where are you where are you going? That's what we're gonna call this. Segment. I'm going crazy. Uh, okay, so this has actually yep yeah, one of my favorite lines in the series so far. I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going crazy. Good night, Axel. Hey, hey where are you going? I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going crazy. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah. The coroner puts his sandwich on the dead body. I've seen that in other movies. That's hilarious every time. No, it's gross. It's hilarious every time. I'm uncomfortable with it. Okay. So the coroner though. <laughs> yeah. Axel. I don't I don't know that that's a coroner. I think it's some kind I think of it's just, I think it's just another doctor. Uh, it's just or a guy whose job is te- to put technician. the bodies. He's the he's the janitor. I don't know. Might be the janitor. <laughs> he uh 
He sure he more does like than his workout videos. Oh, That's man. not a workout video. It's someone's getting their heart rate up. I don't know what that is. How did he start <laughs> to get some? That lady was not wanting some. Is she just so turned on by the news? Well, no, it's because the script says so. <laughs> Yeah, because she's like, I ain't messing with you. I'm tired. I ain't faking orgasms for you anymore. So she's she's done hit it. Well, that means uh, they're all going to be real it. from now on. You're right, Kenny. They they, yeah. they did see Halloween 2, and they stole that from Halloween 2. Yeah, but that's so we can get that great thing of, I don't think she realizes that he's, okay, now she's, now she's like, oh, I'm down with it. Like, let's fuck, because the news gets me so hot. <laughs> and then turns out they're banging. We don't see it next to... Uh, Jason's body and his hand falls off and hits it. And he got cock blocked by Jason. And that was that was pretty good. <laughs> and then I said she's having a no good, dirty, rotten night. Yeah, yeah. And then she runs out all mad. Then yeah, and then Jason gets all mad because he thought he was gonna maybe turn this into like a three way type thing. When uh, he puts Jason into the little sleepy hole, right? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. You, you see Jason's breath. Oh, cold in there, bud. Which means he's not dead. So this isn't the final chapter. Like we're not like this isn't the final chapter. Like this isn't the. Well, I'm the just saying, like if the if any views was gonna say that he was a zombie at this point, he's not. He's breathing. No, not a zombie. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say he's a zombie yet or ever because this is the end. The final. So what's his character's name? Axel. Axel gets his throat slit open. Yeah. And yeah. twisted. Oh, oh, and he should have loosened. He should have saw the cap. that coming. <laughs> huh? Yeah, he used a hacksaw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, he should have saw. Look, I'm here all week, fellas. Ha. Honk, honk. Ha. Yeah. Hey, how's it? <laughs> but how's 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 the nurse die? Uh, uh, she gets her. Um, what is it? Her, her torso gets like split open or something. How does she? Or, yeah, he takes a knife and she. Oh, she just finished zipping back up her dress, and then he takes a knife and he basically goes right back down that zipper uh, line. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, straight, yeah, symmetry. Yeah, yeah. Unzips her, ca- yeah. her rib cage. Yeah, he as always, he goes a little too far. He's a little aggressive in the relationship. He didn't mean to undo her flesh. He didn't actually need to kill her at all to leave the the no, morgue the hospital. Out, but... He really could have. No, she touched his hand. That's gross. He didn't like that. It made him. It made, made him uncomfortable. Him uncomfortable. That how, That's how right. she was coming. He on was to uncomfortable him. with that scene happening in front of him, much like Kenny's uncomfortable with it. Oh my god! Have you ever been a root <laughs> and your roommates trying to go to Pound Town? Ugh. That wasn't really an issue most of my time with my roommates. Yeah, Not a whole either. lot of pounding going on, you know? I mean, there was a lot of... I mean, there's a lot of pounding, but it's like... Solo one work. Way, one way trips. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting it now. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm finally understanding. What do you think of our introduction to little Corey Feldman? What do you think of his mask? His Cute. masks are amazing. They are. He has... I thought someone just wanted to show off all the hard work they've been doing. You think Tom Savini wanted to yeah. be like, hey, because check, otherwise... Check out my demo reel. My, uh, if we want to start getting into my mm, mm, nitpicky stuff, there's no... The masks are beautiful, very well detailed, uh-huh. and serve no purpose. If you want to argue so, with me that it allows him to have the artistic ability for what he does at the end of the film... I don't I'll listen think what to he it. Does, I don't think what he does at the end requires artistic ability. I would say it did not require <laughs> it at all. I don't think I wasn't going to necessarily argue the artistic ability. I was going to because if he had a mask for the situation, if he went up there and had a quick montage and made a mask, <laughs> that's where <laughs> yeah, I, like, that's what yeah. I thought was going to happen. I I would make that argument. No, I think it just gives us more insight to he has interest in this stuff. So maybe he's. I mean, other movies exist in this universe, I'm sure. He likes monsters, he likes creatures. Well, we see them watch a movie later, and apparently it's fucking hilarious. Vintage Um, movies are always quite funny. Little Relic of Cthulhu. I think it (laughs) potentially gives him the creativity and the insight into, like, okay, this is a monster, and, well, they they live there. They've got to know the Jason story. And instead of trying to be mommy, he's, you know, I'm I'm a... I'm a... I'm a be you. I'm gonna be but you. where did they ever see a picture of the weird, freaky little Jason? I, look, there's a lot of... It was in a newspaper. Why? Like, here's this mutant child. Yes. Laugh at him. So that whole town deserves it, then. Oh, yeah, they're horrible. I mean, yeah, they're just fine. Yeah. My next question, how, off, how often do you go skinny dipping with strangers? I guess that's the only time you would do it. You wouldn't do it with family. One would hope. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you do it with people you know, probably. I mean, yeah, but then you have to see those people again. Sometimes you want to see them. I mean, what strangers again. were skinny dipping? So none of those, 
not all those people were completely acquainted. Like oh, the twins, the twins. Which well, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to talk about the twins. Twins, for a Basil. While there. Twins. Okay, yeah, we'll get we'll get to the twins. So we got our introduction yep, quite, to the quite the, the, the pair. The, <laughs> well, uh, we got our introduction to the family. We get little Corey, who's uh, if you you ever know, like he's in a lot of movies throughout his years, like growing up. One, his face never actually changed as he aged. It was always that. That's like that's Corey Feldman. You never like you might be able to look at like little like Drew Barrymore and ET and be like, okay, I see it. That's still Drew Barrymore. But you look at Corey Feldman, no matter how old he is and anything, you're like, that's Corey fucking Feldman. That's usually because he's usually got like a little name thing under there. It says Corey Feldman. Corey fucking Feldman. Yeah. We get our mom and we get our sister. I don't think we ever mentioned anything about dad. Mom and dad are separated. They're separated. But dad's still kind of asking about how mom's doing. That's sweet. But he still kind of cares. I don't know. He he's gonna get everything now. Doesn't have to go is through he, a though? divorce. I don't. I don't think he <gasps> is. Oh, what? What? Why not? You think he hired Jason to go do this like I just did? Oh, uh, no. I don't hit. think the mom's dead. Oh, let's get. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll get into that. I'll make a um, note. Do you guys know what bypass patch cord little Corey needs to play his game in his room? Oh, that's like an Atari or some shit. I don't know nothing about that. I can't help you. Can you just? Can he just move it to his room? No, you know. Well, no, no, no that's like, <laughs> no. Am, am, am I? Is this one where I like I don't know about the console there or anything? Is this one where I'm just ignorant or they're like, well, say something tech wise, techy, and it'll sound, it'll be good. There was a oh, oh yeah, this this movie found out about computers. That well yeah, <sighs> computers did. are a thing, Daniel, and you can beep, type beep, beep, things beep. into them, and they will the computer will tell you things, which it will now. This movie predicted oh, no. the chatbot not really oh, yeah. but they invented sure it. i yeah uh-uh. it. he said we just type it in and then it'll give us an answer yeah huh? that's what it does that's what it does yeah that's just you an ignorant giant... that's just what an ignorant person thinks a computer can do look you're a dead fuck fuck you like i've, I've talked <laughs> to, get... i've talked to you and i actually want to talk to you about that because i don't want you <laughs> calling me a dead fuck and jimbo don't be such a dead fuck I told you, I told you that I didn't like that. Oh, he's so funny in this. He is so good at everything. I've never been disappointed in a Crispin Glover performance. We see a delicious giant pitcher of lemonade that immediately made me want lemonade. Uh, okay, there's a great little happy family. And then we get the Griswold family. Or at least their car. <laughs> yeah, they stole like the six, car. They had this sick, beautiful, I don't know, look, you might not know this about me, but look, I love station wagons. They got this sick six seater you know with the back two seats are facing out the back they weren't though oh they weren't this time no they were facing forward i i i had one when i was younger well I, my parents had one when i was younger where the seat faced backwards and it's great you get to stare at the cars i don't understand the, uh, why that was a thing because it's awesome why would you don't wanna... worry about it because you get to look man you get to see where you came from so you don't repeat the mistakes of your past oh shit dude but yeah. you're just a kid dude, dude you haven't or, made or, mistakes or yet for, dude or for some of our listeners you get to see where you were conceived i don't know i don't know oh. i was on a couch what somewhere i think I, anyway the hair was great what? in this movie was what i was about to say the men's hair the women's hair they got the hair on i disagree i hate all the hair in this movie Nope, 84 was a great year for hair. Christmas hair was good. All the ladies' hair were good. Nope. Yeah, the hair, was the hair good. didn't bother me. I hate hair. all hair. hair until the year about uh, 20, 2007, I would say. God. Look, young Crispin is fucking crisp. That was my note. And I can't believe he broke up with BJ Betty. Well, it sounded like BJ Betty broke up with him. Yeah, it sounded like BJ Betty. Well, what we find out... Was BJ you know, was Betty ever real? She sounds pretty real. Well, the computer says, though... Yeah, he's a dead computer fuck. Peter says you're a dead fuck. And to be clear here, there's no computer. It's his it's his Ned character friend. Because we have to have a Ned in every <laughs> movie, right? Ned. Is this what this is? Every, every what was yeah. that was um, Everyone needs a Ned. Teddy? Is that Ed? Okay, yeah. I would say Teddy. original Ned is greater than Teddy. See, Teddy was a little annoying. He definitely got like butt hurt. He might have had a little bit of a, like an incel thing going on, a smidge. But overall, I don't think he was as obnoxious as Teddy. I mean, didn't Teddy or didn't Ned? Sorry, I don't think Teddy was as obnoxious as Ned. Didn't Ned fucking fire an arrow right next to someone as a joke? Yes. No. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, yes. I, I'm I'm confusing original Ned with the second Ned. <laughs> oh. Second Ned was the slingshot to the butt. Second Ned yeah. was the worst. Second Ned was awful. No, they have gotten progressively worse. 
third Ned, wasn't that, was that Leslie? Or what was his name? I always get his name wrong. The one who was the incel. That was Shannon? Shelly. Shelly. We don't oh need God. to talk Shelley about was, Shelly's definitely no, there's, bad. You got, it's, it's a different character, the incel and the, and the Ned. That's a different... Well, yeah, they, they are different characters. But Shelly was still kind of the Ned. Like, this is our goofball character. But Shelly just, like, Shelly just stop, bud. Just stop, please. Let's just talk about people Shelly. Like Shelly Ned. sucks. Uh, yeah. It's a great costume, though. I've seen people cosplay as the Shelly in the... And the scuba gear, and, and then the hockey mask with the wig, and the real life, a, yeah, yeah. And then there's yeah, a fat yeah, guy in a wetsuit. Yeah, I could. It's one I could do. Grease me up. Put me in that suit, baby. <laughs> Grease me up. <laughs> yeah. So he just he's like, let me check the computer. Do, 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 do. Yep. Says you're a dead fuck. That means you know you're you're kind of you know weak in bed. Like, I'm a dead fuck for whatever reason. Crispin Glover. I'm just gonna use you know Corey that and burrows in his too. brain. Yeah, like it eats at him, and then he just leans back and it goes. God, I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. And they drive past Pamela Voorhees' grave, and it looks Why? all nice. And I'm like, who the fuck gave her a grave? Like an actual... A marked tourist side of the road attraction grave, yeah. Did someone be like, you know, she was tormented, This so maybe it wasn't her fault, and we need to at least like do something for her? Better question. Why isn't... So Pamela Voorhees is not in that grave. She no. is in Jason's cabin out in the woods. I mean, at least her head is. Yeah. We, that's how we always see that. Yeah. Why isn't it like dug up and all trashed? He took her head out or is it just an empty grave? Right. It should be. Well, I could. So if the movie, if part two is, I think it's like a year, a year after part one, then that gives Jason time to dig her up, take her. And so maybe they just be like, uh, gophers are gotten it. Just cover it back up. They don't actually check. Those goddamn yeah. gophers. Because otherwise, it would so say, she... here lies Pamela Voorhees' body, but not her head. It would say yeah, yeah, that. yeah. They'd be very be specific accurate. about it. they say, don't come here to take photos if you think her head is here. That is somewhere else. Yeah, that's somewhere else. If that you is take destination a head, unknown. We'll find her head. We got some known unknowns and some unknown knowns. And some, some head unknown knowns. No knowns. So I'm just saying, yeah. there's no body in that grave. No body in that no grave. Body, no body, no body in that grave. Mm. Nobody in that grave. Then we're going to meet our random sign lady who wants to go to Canada. Eh? And then they don't pick her up. Ah. But they like, we don't have room. That's... And they weren't going to Canada anyway. Yeah. And then, and then she flips her sign around and says, fuck you. Yeah. And then she wants to eat a banana. Yeah. And then she squeezes the shit out of that banana. Daniel, did that get you a little a little turned on there? No. 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 A little, a little mahogany? A little wood? Mm. Hey, yeah, father. a little bit. Hey, <laughs> father. To a real oak. <laughs> yeah. Pops no. Your uncle. Yeah, she uh, she just minding her own business, trying to get out of there. Jason does a kill. I didn't. I don't appreciate that kill. What she do that was wrong. My, she was just my there. thoughts exactly. Well, and yeah. she wasn't um, even. She the was doomsayer. trying. She was trying to yeah. leave the great nation of the United States of America, of which Jason is a proud member. Jason, Jason is really patriotic. Canada. He's like, very patriotic that's, to the that's to the bone, weird, though. To the bone, yeah. He's a, okay. he's a hockey fan, so you'd think he'd like Canada. Jason supports our troops. Know. The shot of the her squeezing the banana though during her death, like someone's like, "We're shoot, we're squeeze that banana." Like hell yeah, it's very symbolic. Uh, I just couldn't tell you of of what it's supposed to represent. Yeah, but hey, at least old at least old Jadar knew how to get his way back to camp though. Now why we're, are we're you happy? Because <laughs> at this point, this is our fourth movie together. We're friends. Okay, he's our only recurring. So it character. took four watches of Spider-Man for you and Jason to be friends. Yeah, that was one day though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, we get our first camp kill of this movie, and so all our players are here now. Our young people renting the cabin in the woods. Ooh, we got our young family. Living in a nice house in the woods. Ooh. Ooh. And we got we got the J-Man. So we're good. We're ready. We're ready to go. Let's get into it. You got us some makings for a stew, baby. And then uh, this is where we go meet the twins in their house. It's not the twins' house. We never meet the twins' house. We never see where they live. We only meet them okay, outside. But, but, yeah. So the, those, oh, no. Was it the two twins? One of them was basically calling the other one a slut, saying, you've got a reputation. No, that wasn't the twins. That was... No, this was happening. The two in the car. ladies in our main group. Yeah. Sorry, a lot of the women blended together because they're all twins, white people. What are you gonna do? They all look alike. Yeah, and I'm like, wait. Uh, once again, we don't slut shame here. We slut celebrate. Okay. She's saying like, so what? You know, look, I keep him in the. He likes me in the bedroom, so I keep him there. 
Like, yeah. The other one's over there just like all prudish, like, eh, I don't know. Can't be like that. But also, her hair was good, too. Not the one who had it braided. Her hair was okay, but the hair was good. The hair in this movie is good, Daniel, and I will not listen to you bash it. It was perfect. Best time for hair in the history of the human race. 1984. Well, we, Get with it. We know what your fetish is. It's good. Well, the men, the women, it's all good. Also, also, also you know, can I, com- can I complain hair. about the men real quick? We had, sure. uh, we had a real hunky man in the last one with shirt off. We got nothing here. I'm dry as a bone. Um, <laughs> I do have com- I do have complaints about yeah, no drips in okay. this one. <laughs> no drips. We have <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like when you teach grandpa a slang word. <laughs> I'm u- I'm trying to figure out the you know when to use it it's when not, not drips. Oh, it's not drips. It's not oh, it's not drips. Drip. It's just drip. It's drip. Drips, is... though. No, because there there are multiple uh, drip. So it's drips. Oh God, just go. Oh God, outs. Okay, we have. How many people? How many people in the car? Was it six people? There in the are car? so many people in this movie. We we got six people in the car. We've got the twins. That's eight. We've got three in the family. That's eleven. And then and you've got Rim Job the dog. And then the hiker hunter. And we, it's Rob. Okay, and the, and the heck, so twelve. Rob. Yeah. Oh my God. Of those Rob, twelve people. I'm hunting bear. And then Corey Feldman's like, No, you're not. And then nobody yeah. mentions that oh, yeah. again. Yeah. No one's of course, gonna listen to I would have elbowed like, Do not fucking contradict the guy with the gun. Right, that we picked up. But then the guy with the guns immediately like, so you got uh, you got any kids around here? Anybody up at the lake today? You can't be hunting for bear. How about kids? Are any kids, vacationers, people like that? Yeah, that stand, was a little. Maybe, but maybe I, under, I knew I knew where it was going though. Look, we'll we'll get to that scene because I was questioning myself at that point. But we have twelve players, not counting Jason, running around here, not counting Gordon. Well, hold on, hold on. I just want to point out before I forget. That when the lady asks him to come inside the house, he says no. But then when the little boy asks him to come in the house, come he, to my room. He comes no, in. Specifically, come to That's my room. That's because I, I got, got something, something to show real you. neat to show you. <laughs> anyway, the twelve characters. I feel like they only tried to get us to even acknowledge these people as people: the the mom, the daughter, and the son, Rob, and then Kristen Glover's character Jimmy and Teddy. Is that even his name? Is it Teddy? Or where did they start calling him Teddy when he had the teddy bear? I think it's Teddy. I think it's Teddy? I think, anyway, I think he just uses the bear. It's, it's, like it's, an... it's Ted, Teddy, yeah. Okay, the rest of these characters, they might as well not even be there. Like, they, like, what did you, like, who are you? Do we like you? Do we not like you? Like, okay, maybe you're going to go off and bang the twin, but you have a girlfriend right there. Like, okay, that, that's clearly an issue. But, like, who the fuck are you? What do I, we spend no time with these other eight or so characters really to actually have any sort of investment in them well we're not meant to right that, and i get that's, we just, that's no long we are no longer coming to this franchise for character investment we don't care well, we are I, only I, here to watch people get torn apart and i guess the the compl- i i shouldn't be complaining too much about this one because if i recall i think my complaint of the third one was i didn't care about any of those characters who the fuck were any of them that was yeah the last one was even worse well, we kind of cared so this about one, the, hey, the people why, who owned the shop. Why did I write but... down that the hunter's name was Jarvis? I have uh, Tommy, Tommy Jarvis. Corey Feldman's name, Tommy Jarvis. Yeah, that's a Jarvis, Jarvis family. Oh, okay. Because you made yeah. a mistake. Um, okay. Yeah. Good hair. I hate the decor, though. I like the hair. I hate the decor. Of the cab. But we get to, uh, of yeah of their of their house, like the mom and daughter sitting like on the couch. And it's like they got the shitty hand quilted blanket thing laying over that everyone had. It's like they, it was, that couch looked worse than stabbing couch that you gave us. I thought it was fine. No, it's bad. I hated it. It's bedtime. The other people made it to their cabin. They're there. Family's there. <laughs> then we go up to Tommy, little Corey Feldman up in his room. And he's getting his peep on just like an abominable. One of the ladies across the street is taking her clothes off in front of the window. And little Tommy is seeing this. He gets so fucking excited. He loves he it. He goes primitive. He's like, oh, he's like flipping around <laughs> in the bed. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to see some taters. Hell, <laughs> man. I'm going to see it all. Oh, and then the guy shows up, and I think he's about to get, like, disappointed. And, but then, like, he starts putting the hands around her. He's like, oh, and then it's the fucking, he just, he de-evolved <laughs> for that scene. I think most, and uh, it was most men do deem (laughs) (laughs) and it's not wrong and it's hilarious and then he hears his mom coming and so he fucking he panics and lays back down but unfortunately he lays back down with his face facing the windows 
So mom's in there tucking in it and leans over, gives him a kiss, looks up, sees the action going on over there, goes and closes the Yeah, other she doesn't close that window. window. She knows what's up. Now, at first, I thought she was going to go over there and just wait in the darkness and see if he woke back up and be like, you little sinful motherfucker. Oh, that's a- <laughs> you go up here beat, beating your meat in the Lord's house here. Like, I thought it was going to be one of those things. That's a Carrie prequel, but, uh, I think. That's a different but, uh, movie. <laughs> yeah. But no, she, she's a, mom's a real bro. She goes yeah, over she, she real, shuts the other window. She a real one. She leaves. Yeah, so that's mom of the year. That, you go, but you come back from your grave to kill for that mom. You don't. Pamela... She let her son drown. Probably while she was, was getting dicked down in the kitchen. Getting dicked down in the kitchen. Yeah, Pamela lets her kid drown. <laughs> uh, and what's the mom's name? Mrs. Jarvis? Is that all we call her? Mrs. Mrs. J- Jarvis. Mrs. Jarvis. Let's, uh, let's little Tommy, you know, fire off the red rocket. <laughs> no. she, she encourages his, his, his peeping habits. Instead of modern day, you'd be like, no, don't do a peep, okay? Well, you shouldn't do a peep. He <laughs> should. He was in his room minding his own business. They were putting on a show. Uh, but I'm sorry, that scene was hilarious. I was dying. That oof, that was good. C- can we talk about how thirsty older sister is? She wants it bad. After Corey's or Tommy is done showing what, uh, Rob <laughs> the uh, the art collection of of masks. Rob is gonna do some camping out and about, and she's all, you know, if you ever if you ever want to take a shower, you can always come back. Yeah, like, why don't you stay here? I mean, it gets... If I was him, I'd be like, I'll just bathe in the lake. It's was, it was a little creepy how forward she was. Looks like another venue, huh? Yeah. Listen, if it if it gets too bad out there, or if you want to take a shower, or whatever, we're always home. I didn't think it was creepy. I thought it was just, um, uh, eh, just, you know. It is what it is. I don't want to say desperate. I mean, there's all a lot of options up there on the lake. She's not allowed to leave. I don't know. It's weird. She can leave. She has the car. It, I mean, it, now that's true, and she knows how to drive. She doesn't know how to fix it. That's what we use the little boy for. Okay, so first off, Jimbo, don't call Betty. I got that note. Jimbo, don't call Betty? Because <laughs> oh, Jimbo wanted he to was, call he Betty. He wants to call BJ Betty. Oh. And No, and that's a dead says, fuck no, move. No, no. And he, it's a dead fuck move. Always make a fool of yourself with someone new. Sure. I'm like, ah, Okay. And this is while they're walking down a path trying to head to the lake, right? So this is the part where I'm like, wait, hold on. You guys didn't think this through. So they're walking down the path. Now we get the twins riding their bikes toward them going the opposite direction. Yeah, I know what you're going to say, but and go ahead and say it. They're, they're, they're so turned on by the twins and everything, all that jazz. They're like, hey, we're trying to go up to the lake to go swimming, blah, blah, blah. And the twins say, that's where we're going. Right. And What's your problem? They, they're like, okay, yeah, you can come with us. So they turn around to go the other direction. They turn down a path. No, they turned they their turn bikes down a around. Path. No, they went the <laughs> wrong. A path they went the, the left. opposite they go direction. To, they go to the left because I had the no, same thought. I think they turned. Are you sure? Did you go back and rewatch it? I didn't it? go back to rewatch it, but they turned to the left. Ah, uh, I, I look. But, we'll agree to disagree. But also, these twins are not to be trusted. <laughs> oh, they're shifty. I don't think they're really twins. I they're really twins. I thought they were going to rob them. I <laughs> thought that they were bait for the hunter to draw Jason. Oh, out. for Rob. Yeah. Oh, you thought this was like a whole thing. Yeah. Okay. But you already at that point My assumed movie that is Rob was better there to hunt movie. Jason. Yeah, I knew. I knew that immediately. What were the uh, twins' names? Thing one and thing two. I was just gonna say that. That's that's not good. I'm gonna go with spearmint gum and. Oh, it's double mint. Dope. Ah, oh, fuck! You're nailing it, Daniel. Keep going. Um, here's <laughs> another one. Twizzlers and gushers. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was a gusher oh what uh, you can't I, say I that what's wrong with no. you i said the laney and sarah no tina and terry okay they are twin what do you I mean said Mila, what do you wh- Mila how are you terry confused Moore. if they're twins because they had enough differences where i'm like they're not exactly identical but they did look no, a lot no like. they're identical are you sure yeah dog hundred percento well, I watched this in 4K, so I could notice the differences. Great. Did you notice how Crispin Glover was finally put to good use? Wow. Once we got those sweet, sweet dance moves. Oh, when they make it back there? The cabin? Yeah. Those were his actual dance moves. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, CG wasn't a thing yet, so yeah, they were his dance but moves. But we're, uh, we're not going to just gloss over the fact that we're this movie's leaning hard into the TNA. Oh, no. That's, that's actually more, their name, TNA. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's because we get to more nudity in this one than the entire re- what, leading up to this. All the other movies, but and gore apparently, yeah, but still no donger. No, I thought we were gonna get it. They get to the beach and they do all go skinny get dipping with, as you're saying, like you just skinny skinny dip with the people you just meet. The twins just met them and they're like, yeah, sure, we're down, close off. Bla- and then they're yeah, all like, blame the rating system. Naked, we're we're seeing we're seeing boobs everywhere. And I wanted to point out, I did a rope swing, I think last summer. And as soon as I got in the air, I just went straight fucking down. There was no outward anything. I was unprepared. I didn't quite have my feet on the knot below me. What? And so I fucking, I swung out. And there was no, once I got out. You got no body strength, to Junior? To carry it. I wasn't prepared. You got no body strength, and so Junior. so I fucking, I fucking, uh, yeah, I just straight dropped. You come on down to Daniel's fun. Globo Gym and I'll get you ready for a tire swing or whatever the fuck you're that. talking about. But, uh, I was also, though, extremely paranoid to wrap my legs around it because I had seen previous people slide down and have the ro- rope like go right yeah, up if their you junk. Yeah, if you ain't got that strength, poor strength. You know. oh, I got I got. Sounds like you don't. In my ju- well, I wasn't holding on with my balls. I had to keep my shorts on. <laughs> but if, we you, was with but family. if you had... Yeah, if I had, we was with family, so I had to. Uh, I don't this story, man. You know, I we don't we don't we don't skinny dip with family as we established. Well, maybe you don't. Yeah, but then we get Corey Feldman goes chasing Gordon the dog. I, I don't know why you keep getting the dog's name wrong. Is it not Gordon? Brim job. Oh <laughs> my god, God! And he goes down there. And he he gets to you know see some boobs again. And this is, I mean. He's like, he's having a good week. He's a great best week of his life. And then his sister's like, what? Look away. Da 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 da. You are like, uh, she's a bat. She's not a bro. Mom's a bro. Sister's not a bro. And then they're, they start yelling at Trish. I think it was her name. Like, hey, come join us. Oh, I think I'm overdressed. That's okay. Trying to get his sister to undress right next to him. It would have been crazy if she had done it. It's already crazy because that water looked dirty. I mean, it's the lake. This is true. I swim in lakes, but I always wonder, should I swim in lakes? You shouldn't. There's creatures. What if a fucking snapping turtle bites your donger off? I've been in there with snapping turtles and snakes. It's a whole thing. Can't, but they choke on it. Let's be real here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Let, let's be real. <laughs> Re- but this reality gonna... check. The, the snapping reality turtle's check. gonna choke the on it. The snapping turtle would <laughs> choke, on, choke my on my it. massive donger. <laughs> It, they actually had to print a warning on the side of my dung, like keep out of reach of snapping turtles. No, so it was to remind you to keep so it many... in their mouths. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna. You know what? That's gonna be my first tattoo. Is I'm gonna put choke hazard on the side of my dung. <laughs> in big font. You're required to every time you go to the zoo. <laughs> it's 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 gonna be a really big font. Bubble letters. God damn it. Animals can't read. It's fine. Tell they us why you got kicked out, out of the petting zoo. What happened? <laughs> I had I, Look, we went a little further than heavy petting to this him. time. They, I thought it was a heavy petting zoo. Oh. Was, uh. <laughs> but we get a cute interaction between Tommy and Gordon Rimjob the dog, where he says, "Are you calling the dog Rimjob? The dog's name is Gordon. You're you're uh, you're too young for that." And I'm saying Gordon ain't too for that. He's an old dog. He can do it. And then the car breaks down, and then we the sister starts making Tommy, who looks like he's what ten. Yeah. Yeah, I did think it was Maybe. odd to make the the boy fix the car. Yeah, fix the car. He's but then good I was at fixing like, things. Yeah, but he doesn't said, fix sense. the car. He doesn't have well, the right tool. Well, he's about to. But it makes sense though, because he turns into a very smart turtle later after he swims in the lake. Oh, he doesn't have mutated. the right tool because he's just a young boy. But then you know who does? The forest stro- strides a man with the perfect tool. Yeah, a pocket knife that he jabs into some electrical <laughs> components and it makes the car work. Look, sometimes. <laughs> I... <laughs> this he jabs his tool in there. Oh, yep, yep, ni- yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh no. He does. He it's sick, a metaphor. He takes his knife. Oh my god, it's a beautiful it metaphor. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. And that's when we get the okay. Let's give you a ride. And yeah, I'm hunting bear. No, you're not, motherfucker. Hey, come back to our house. Hey, I know you don't want to come in for her, but I got something real neat to show you in my bedroom. And that's why I was like, well, first off, we should learn how to make masks. Those masks are cool. I think I've seen in other movies where characters are like, oh, mask makers. Like, I should learn how to make a mask. You should learn how to do anything. He's got him up in his room, and then little Corey wraps him around the throat with a little dick tentacle. Yeah, like he, like that thing's later going to be used in some like uh, live action hentai tentacle thing that I've probably seen. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've we've all we've all been there. So it he did have that uh, really. It should have been used in this movie. They should have. He should have tried to scare Jason. Yes. Like, boogie, boogie, boogie. 
And then Jason should have squashed him. There should have been something where he's putting the mask on the survivors, and this is all of the, or using the mask on broomsticks to like give him decoy oh. targets. Right? That like home alone or no, I like the idea we put the mask on all the current survivors and because Jason still has the mind of a child, as we he try gets to spooked. say in later things. It, he spooky. gets spooked and he runs away. But then someone slips and starts bleeding and he's like, ah, no blood. And then he turns back around and starts fucking killing them all. Sure. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention the, the dick tentacle. And then we cut Look, back. Look, it's and Schrodinger's got... dick tentacle. You show the dick Schro tentacle, Schrodinger's... you gotta use the dick tentacle later, and they didn't fucking use it. Yeah. They didn't show, yeah, the Scrotum's dick tentacle. Yeah. Yeah, so then we get, yeah, Chris McGlover's like, you wanna dance? And he puts on a record, and it's this really good song. I actually like the song. It's called Love is a Lie by Lion, which I'd never heard of. Wait. Originally, I think they said... Wasn't he was that one of Ryan's quiz to, questions that he was going to ask, but then quiz? proceeded to not ask? You had quiz questions, Ryan? I, I did. My, my question was going to be, what is the name of the song <laughs> playing during Crispin Glover's epic dance routine? Oh, shit. Bam! Right off the oh, bat. You got I it. I didn't know you I didn't know you had ones for this one. I know you did for the last one. You movie gotta we read everybody's secret watch notes to know what's going on. I was well, as soon as I seen he was asking questions earlier, I didn't wanna You know eat. what? Wasn't a very good question because you already knew it. It's okay. Well, I knew it because I I really liked the song. Maybe so I, I wanted to like, try I, and answer it. Daniel, you wanna well, try I didn't know and he was gonna it? ask it. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, but I'll add what was he actually listening to? Oh, that's a good question. That wasn't no, that's one of them nerdy uh, fucking trivia questions. Who cares? Was it A, Armed and Dangerous, <laughs> B, Head on Legs, C, Love is a Lie, or D, uh, an ACDC song that I can't remember. I think it was Back in Black. I think it was Back in Black. Uh, ACDC. Oh, you got it. Ah. Yeah, it was ACDC, which obviously they can't afford that. Yeah, I, did, I didn't realize you wrote that. That's my bad, because if you look in my notes, you'll see... Love is a Lie by Lion. Love the song. It's good. You should check it out. It's a banger. This has got the most banger of a soundtrack, I think. Actually, which apparently this is actually how Crispin Glover would go and dance in clubs. So this wasn't something he just made up for the movie. Yeah, he a freak. That's He is like, I don't know what would be scarier, his dancing or like Max fight dancing. Ooh. And I don't think the other actress knew how to work with that. I think that's a solo dance. I don't think you can... <laughs> That, that's well, a dance was, that, that's on a pedestal that you you watch, but from a distance. If and you she go, would do it back at him, they could, it could be, that, that could be good, but she's not cool like that. So, Whoa, you know? no, if she's in Transpolite Dance, because they hook up. They do later, but she tries to hook up with someone else, though, first. Mm, mm, I think it's the we other don't... one he dances with. Are you sure? And no, because they're all twins and it's confusing. No, well, no. She also, like, one of the twins is, is up, is, well, Teddy is working on Twin A. They, oh, Crispin yeah, you're right. is working at Twin B. Twin A is not yeah, into yeah. Teddy Bear's whatever the hell he's doing, you know. He thinks that's funny. He thinks that's a funny thing he's doing. He thinks that's funny. He thinks that's a funny thing he's doing. <laughs> but then but but no, later <laughs> later uh <laughs> Which later I Crispin think is basically the, the little tagline underneath our pad podcast as well. Our podcast. Our podcast. Oh, we're hilarious. They, Chris, they, think they're funny. His, they think that's a funny thing they're Chris, doing. <laughs> Crispin asks his twin later, though, when they're like going to dance or whatever. It's like, wait, I thought you wanted to get with whatever that other fucker's name was. It like Paul or something? Doug? I don't know. Stevie? Paul. Paul. No, there can't be more Pauls. There's a Paul. Yep, it's another Paul. There can be multiple people named Paul, Daniel. I haven't met any. I'm still not sure because before Crispin gets with his twin... Yeah, she d he does ask like, yeah, I thought you were trying to get with whoever that other guy was. And she says, yeah, well, now I'm with you. I was. Now I'm Doesn't with the you. one like, twin get butt hurt because the other twin sleeps with Glover? She's not butt hurt. She's bored because she doesn't want to sleep with. She's left with Teddy. Yeah. She doesn't wanna, and I think she's given in saying like, yeah, whatever, a pole's a pole because then she does move over to Teddy. A pole is a pole. <laughs> That's what she's thinking, you know? <laughs> But then I just could, wanted I to make sure that didn't just uh, slip by unnoticed. <laughs> your, look, your poll might slide by unnoticed, but my poll's noticed. Okay. Yeah, noticed by I don't snapping know why. turtles in the wild. <laughs> it's a choking hazard, I told you. I don't know why the other twin moves over onto the couch with Teddy, because she's clearly not interested. She gets over there, lets him try to max him more, and she's just like, nah, not having it. She just go over there to try to shut him up, because he doesn't shut up. Uh, just, she's like, was he... 
Was he really as big a douchebag as I thought he was five minutes ago? Yes. Yes, he was. Okay. He he is, but he's not the biggest douchebag of our douchebag characters we get in these movies. Like, he's he's an idiot. He's over there giving advice when he has no experience to give the advice. Like, talking like he's all wise in the ways of love. But I don't think he's ever getting any. And then he gets butt hurt when he doesn't get picked. But he doesn't really, he doesn't take it out on his friend. Like, he's kind of like, well, he's really drunk at that point later when... No. Graduated. You know what he we'll, does? We'll get into that. When she comes to sit down on the couch, he takes a drag off either pot or a cigarette, and then he blows it right in her face. But he thinks that makes him look cool. He's just Ugh. stupid. He's stupid. Yeah. And then we got... Was that... At, well, that was after... Uh, okay, the other guy's name, I think, is Paul. That was after the twin left with Paul, and then Sarah was going to go after Paul's girlfriend, who left angrily. Was that Mantha? So Samantha is Paul's girlfriend, and Samantha, once Twin B starts dancing with Paul, Samantha says she's going to go outside and go and go, go swimming She's going to go for a swim. Yeah. Which they just swam earlier in the day, so she really likes swimming. It was after, so Paul goes with the twin because what the, the twins both try to shotgun a beer and to see who does it faster. And bear in mind, they get none of this beer in their mouth. Those entire beers went down the front of their outfits. I don't think they got any of that in their mouth. So who who can spill beer faster? That's the game. Fucking stupid. Uh, well, I mean, it's uh, it's demonstrating which one of them is uh, able to keep things in their mouth better. Uh, well, one twin wins, one loses. They're like, oh, well, what's my prize? What do you want for a prize? And then she grabs Paul, and that's when the girlfriend, rightfully so, is like, seriously, Paul? Okay, fuck you, I'm leaving. And then Sarah's like wants to go follow her, and then the boyfriend, Sarah's boyfriend's like, what? Don't go! Don't meddle in other people's affair. But in really, what he's saying is, don't go, because if you go, I can't get any. Well, he could. There's twins. Well, that's true. And I said Paul was a fool because I thought Paul's girlfriend was cuter than the twins. Yeah, but... Now, at this point... Oh, go ahead. Well, I'm just going to say, uh, I think her name's Samantha. Once she goes swimming, and she's like, ah, oh, swimmy, swimmy. Oh, no, she thinks someone's... She thinks Paul follower. Paul follower as she's undressing. And then nothing happens, and then so she swims out, and then there's a raft. We get more boobs. Sure. I have the internet. There's uh, a raft on the lake. They didn't back then. True. And they get she gets on it. Now, Jason is, must be really great at this point at holding his breath. Okay, so later, it, it might just be Freddy versus Jason, where they try to say he can't handle water because he drowned in it. Everything up until that movie, he does water kills no problem. Handle it just He's, fine. It's yeah. almost water... like he's a mutant turtle. Mm. Mm. I'm jealous. Mm. Mm. Yes, those are hard to get. Hard to hard before to make. she gets. <laughs> as soon as, <laughs> as soon as uh, Samantha left the house, though, that's when I'm like, okay, it's been a little but bit. But that is what a, a mutant kills. turtle would look like after uh, Kenny's process of making it, though. If I go too far with the batter, look, <laughs> we've jizzed on a lot of eggs. <laughs> No, I, at this point, I was kind of getting the edge. I'm like, we haven't killed anyone in a while, so... This we got to up cause... have never killed anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, allegedly. <laughs> in the previous movies, it's all always been, we get a kill or two towards the beginning, and then we get everything else in one big lump carnage. So at this point, I feel like, okay, I think this is probably... Oh, is, it, is it time for the lump? It's time for the lump. I think the lump's going to come soon. <laughs> like, we've we've... We spent some time with some of the characters. You've gotten to know some of the characters, and now it's time for the lump to come. I understand. Right, we had the uh, we had the standard gather around in the lower like communal area of the cabin portion. Whether I don't think it was a board game this time. I can was, tell you that there was not. Yeah, there was dancing. Everyone likes dancing. Everyone likes to dance. So I'm like, okay, this is our killing's gonna start. I didn't think Paul followed her down there. Did you think Paul followed her down there? No, I knew it was Jason. This is Jason. She swims out to the raft, which I'm like, okay, she's gonna go out there and have a sleep because that's what we do on this. Like people just go out she and sleep in like, boats and rafts. Yeah, I would rather sleep in that raft than the canoe. Yeah, mm. I think yeah. Uh, you're less or, likely to get tipped over in a, in a, in a canoe than yeah. a raft. And it's probably softer. Well, I'm no, I'm go I'm saying the opposite thing as you. Yeah, um, but once it'd be better. Once again, <laughs> it doesn't look that warm out there. Yeah, it's cold. How does she get murdered again? So she's laying down in the raft. Stabs up. He he jumps up to sh like scare her, and then stabs up through the bottom of the raft, which is a problem. Why is this a problem? It's got two hands. Because well, there's a problem with you know, he didn't need to do a scare, but that might be part of the problem. Is he just cut a massive hole in the raft? Yes, he didn't 
cut open the oh, air so you portion s- of I it. I understand what you're saying. But it should be flooding because there is weight in there pushing the part of it. But no, her guts, the water. her guts are plugging the hole. Maybe there's also still enough air in the surround. As long as it doesn't deflate, it won't pull it under. But right, because it's still yeah, it it's was, still it was, floating when Paul goes swims out. Paul does. He gets a harpoon through the groin. Oof. Right, because we I don't think we see it. But yeah, one of the other friends like I'll go talk to Paul. I guess he does, and that's when he ditches. Them. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that kill? Uh, he's not. He, we, what, of, of her or him? Him. him. Oh, yeah, him. Paul he's not going to be making spear. any mutant turtles anytime soon. He he is not. And they wanted to really show that off. Like they fucking he picks him up in the air with the thing through his dick hole. Where do you get it? That the the sport local sport mart. Did he buy it or he steal it? Jason doesn't steal. He's not a bad guy. So he buy it. Of course he bought it. He's got the receipt and everything. What In money? fact, he's going to leave a good review. Oh, uh, his mother had a great life insurance policy on him, and he died. So, And then she had one on her that, I don't know, he found out who it paid out to, and he, you know, he killed them, and he took that. And Jason's loaded. He owns a campsite on a lake. Nice lake. I'd say he owns a lake. Yeah, he, he owns that. He works that lake. So I, I kind of remember in the first movie, there was a bit more buildup to each. Was there a bit more buildup to each death? There was like a little bit of stalking. I mean, yeah. Kevin Bacon's character was a surprise, but everyone else yeah. was a little bit more, a little more stalking, a little bit more build. And I kind of felt like for these kills, it's there's no, there's I don't think no there build. was any stalking. There's really. no build up. There, there's t- no stalking. They're just they just happen. His cardio has to be so good in this fucking movie. As we when we get to where he is just killing everyone all at once, they didn't really establish how far away that was from. The house to the cabin it's obviously across the way there enough it's close enough for little Corey feldman to identify boobage and stuff from his bedroom window yeah to but bedroom window. maybe not you know you think you're gonna see boobs eagle vision eagle vision i'm an eagle ninja and he jumps out the window <laughs> breaks both his arms breaks both his arms but it's still a good jog and when he's killing he is going back and forth back and forth between multiple floors and he's gonna get tuckered multiple out multiple houses He's he's either sprinting or he's teleporting. Either way, he's gonna Cause... he's gonna run out of spell slots or he's gonna run out of stamina. Right? It's 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 crazy. So we get that. Yeah, he uh, real epic showing off. Like, okay, yeah, we want to. Sh- we're showcasing tits and ass. We're showcasing gore in this one. They think they found what works, what the people like about the other movies, and they're leaning into it hard. And I thought that was fun. So I'm okay with it. If we're not gonna actually have like a really really good story or anything. I think that is the way to go. Is just lean into the lean into the kills, lean into the. I mean, yeah, boobs are nice in horror movies. We all like that. We need to see some peen, but we'll get there eventually. I don't know if we do in this series, but as a society, we're we get more okay with dicks on picks, picks up picks of dicks, dicks on film, dicks and turtles. I don't know. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> go back to uh, so let's. Uh, Rob is camping out at this point, right? Yarp. We know he's back out there. Yeah. Did that scene already? Ha- is that scene happening? So no, the two get killed, and then we cut to Rob. He he's hears got his tent it. And fire. He hears it. And okay. Question time. Your options are your hunting rifle or or your machete. Apparently, you can't take both. Which do you choose? Well. Well, if we're outside, I take the rifle. You, of course, you take the rifle. There's no question. You take the rifle. No, he's but not he takes the machete. He's not gonna be able to use the rifle on Jason. He doesn't know that. At that point, he could have. No. Oh, when he sees him break the rifle, I guess you're right. Yeah, because he leaves with the machete, and then... I mean, there's no reason you like, can't have both. Yeah. Right, there's no reason. And then, uh, yeah, so he leaves with the machete. It's a good-ass machete, though. I mean, it, it's a long it, sucker. It's gonna, you're gonna get a lot of use out of that later. He's and not. It's, got, it's, it's not backwards, like that one machete he used, that one movie. Man, this character was like, I thought he was gonna be somebody and do something instead of so just screaming he's thing. killing me he's killing me okay <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely get oh, to that this was the oh, yeah, thing that. where i was questioning myself i was like is this a legacy character is this someone from one of the previous movies and i completely forgot he survived and he's coming back or like is this like uh in the remake thing where this is a, a relative of someone like should i already know who this person is because i gotta tell you i know the the f- no this is jason, a nobody jason killed his sister right. So it was kind of like the reboot type thing when he was saying that later. I was like, oh, okay, so I don't know him. You don't know, but I you don't know his sister? I don't know his sister. Huh. I was panicking because you guys know me. Sometimes I forget very important details. 
Like, oh yeah, that was a person. That wasn't our thing. Mm-hmm. So, eh, yeah. He uh, he goes out with the machete instead of the gun, and then he hears Jason back at his tent. Something's cracking. Jason broke his gun, much like the guy in a buffalo, except he didn't need a stump to break it over. He just fucking crumbles his gun, and, you know, Brian's looking at me with a face. I don't think he knows who the guy in the buffalo is. I had no idea what so, you're talking about. We'll have to we'll have to show him some YouTube videos later of guy in a buffalo. No. Nah. Look it up. You'll appreciate it. Yeah, why did he take the machete? Even if what if he was there to hunt bear and he still just took the machete? Who do you think he has <laughs> better odds of beating with a mach- with a machete? Jason or a bear? I think a bear tears Jason Wait, up. Wait, hold but... on. Are you saying who would do better with a machete, Jason or a bear? <laughs> no, I'm saying who would Rob do better against with the machete? Jason oh, or a bear? Jason. I think so. A bear? What it's a, a bear. Yeah, sometimes it's even a cocaine bear. Sometimes. So, how important to the plot was it that we watch a bunch of vintage porn? <laughs> okay, it was very important. Because, uh, yeah, we got to watch Teddy just having the time of his life. Ted and, like, two of the other ones were watching it. Ted watching that, that stag porno was me watching Last Lovecraft. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that's what i was like yep that's a he a he okay, the, and and he and, okay this makes sense because just you so just so just like tina leaves this obnoxious man laughing at nonsense i also <laughs> wanted to leave in my soul <laughs> during lovecraft so this full circle yeah we, we all come back to it yeah they find a stag film teddy puts it on it's fucking ridiculous as stag films are a couple of them are down there watching it jimbo's gone upstairs with uh one of the twins and i like how they get on the bed and it immediately breaks it's like you know it was gonna break anyway he's got some ruckus uh he's, he's got some rough uh love making moves was uh, that on purpose that he, i'm honestly i don't know i i like to think it was it's a cute little fun moment you know yeah so cute uh then he does ask her though <laughs> me He's personally like, I, uh, me personally i don't what? find premarital sex cute at all oh thank you jason daniel <laughs> i think it should i think it should be punished yeah punished hard well first though he's got to find out if he's a if he's a dead fuck because yes that has been haunting him <laughs> no, I like, am i uh am... and she's like a what <laughs> i think you are amazing oh my god and he's just no no look if oh, what? if you've got the naked girl resting nicely on your chest and you have to ask her if you're a dead fuck you might be a dead fuck you might be you ain't got the confidence you ain't got the confidence to swing that heavy rope you know you ain't got the confidence to put down some serious plumbing <laughs> i mean i hope you have the license too because th- they got unions and Look, shit for that right you, yeah you got to be a part of the union yeah how are you going to connect it to the sewer system i mean you got to make sure they're okay with you hooking pipes up to the sewer system, though, first. Don't just yeah, there's start like running pipes. City permits you got to get. Uh, a, Hooking it up to the sewer dig, system. Right? I mean, unless yeah. you're just going to let it spill all over the ground. Jeez, I mean, it, there was some <laughs> spilling. The other twin is tired of the, watching the stag film. She runs upstairs, like, knocking on the door, like, let's go. And twin who's boning down, crispy boy. Bitch, you ain't going to snatch block me. Yeah, like, uh-uh, man, you go. She's like, well, I'm gonna leave without it. Like, that's what I just said. And then she makes, like, so, was that, like, a trash bag poncho? Covers her hair? Yeah, does no one have umbrellas? Well, they didn't know because it was gonna, gonna take rain. An umbrella. They didn't know it was gonna rain. Yeah, yeah. She the next to die? She is, and she, we don't see it. What I wish would have happened was, because we're getting, there's a storm, so we're getting lightning strikes. Yeah. And that's kind of ca- showing the shadow of Jason I and thought her. that was cool. Let's be clear here. Sorry, you just I had an epiphany while you, you mentioned the storm. This is the last three movies have all been night after night after night, right? Yes. So there has been storms at the end of every one of these movies, right? It's a slow moving supercell, man. Jesus Christ. Are they in a hurricane? Yeah, they're in uh Oh. Yeah. Because the wind we already the wind yes. in that one movie like blew open that fucking door. Yeah, well we did decide it was a hurricane. It's the croc hurricane. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, go on with what you were gonna say about the beautiful storm. I wish that the lightning flashes would have shown us, like, him actually impaling her. I was fine with the shadows. I liked it. Well, no. Like, I, I want it to all be in shadow, but it wasn't. We get the, get the one shadow shot of his figure and her figure, then I think we hear some noise. But I wanted, I wanted her death to be done in shadow from the lightning blast. Okay. No, that would have been nice. 
you know. I I was thinking like it'd be cool to have like as the lightning's flashing, you see him progressively getting closer from like a long shot, work his way in, flash is the only time you see it. Everything else is pitch black, and then the last flash, and then the gah. Yep, that would that would've been cool too. Or is that what you said? No, uh, no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> I, was like, I thought I thought my thing was slightly kind different. Kind of what I said. It's just the it's camera a, is pointed somewhere adjacent. else. It's adjacent. Yeah, my my camera is still pointed at the house, looking at only the shadows. Your camera, you turn it a hundred. 180, I think. Yeah, I was like, what you were saying made me think of what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking it until you thought it. I can't think unless you think, buddy. Yeah. Okay, I need you to explain why I have this note. And it's, I, I fly like an eagle. Uh, do I have a note about that? Is that her jumping out the window? Or is that the dog jumping out the window? The dog did jump out the window, too. And a body gets thrown through a window. That's, all right, this might be what I'm, I'm like, fly. Is that when why they... I write that down? Okay. I got, where's, okay. where's the corkscrew? And fly like an eagle. And I can't remember why yeah, where are you in your note because the next note i have is about the sneaky ass kid and dog and then him like i almost lost my lollipop because he's in the car with his sister and they're driving somewhere and she's apparently driving like a bat out of hell or something yeah and the mother is alone at the house and then the mom goes outside and she does a scream and we don't actually see her die which is probably why daniel maybe thinks not only do you not see her die you don't see a body ever right right and now this the sister goes to find rob at his tent so the sister is goes to find mom, but then she goes to Rob's tent, and at this point, and then just completely forgets about mom, and I start singing to myself like, "Looking for mom in all the wrong places," because she's and she, she's not there, and and Rob just machetes through his tent. He's gone a little crazy. Like dog, would Jason be sitting in your tent? Think about it. Yeah, because he's tired. I don't know. That seems real aggressive. Why would he come back there? But also, where'd we leave? Was Corey left in the car? He's left in the house. Corey's left oh, in the house by himself. Oh, he's back in the house again. That's Corey when in the I house. think I had the epiphany, Corey in the house. If I could go back in time and move things around, I think I would have young Corey Feldman as my live-action Ash Ketchum in a live-action Pokemon movie. So what? <laughs> oh, you're casting him in a Pokemon. Pokemon's not a thing yet. Yeah, but we were going to make bank because it was going to be. Oh, we're going to invent Pokemon? Okay, let's go back in time and make Pokemon. Yes. Thank you. Ted, Ted, where's the corkscrew? I don't even know the anymore. fancy corkscrew. <laughs> Ted, where's the fancy corkscrew? <laughs> don't worry. Jason found the corkscrew. Oh, we all knew okay. Jason would find the corkscrew. <laughs> I still, I'm sorry, right? I give up. I was trying to walk through all the, I had some blow by blows there. I still don't know why you said flies like an eagle unless you jumped all the way to her jumping out the window. <laughs> no, it's okay. Or the dog. Or the dog. I just wanted to help you out, like why, like the like you guys help me out when I have a note, and I don't know what that means. Uh, like my next note is Sarah really likes looking at herself in mirrors. Was that before he went? Okay, she looks at okay, herself. Well, let's get the uh, like she's told her boyfriend come upstairs, darling. Then then she spends well, time she's trying like, to dressing herself, looking at mirrors, and then after trying they're to make sure done, she's sexy, she's looking at herself in mirrors again. No, she's well, been looking sure at she's... herself in mirrors the entire movie. I mean, she's yeah, she's not paying attention to That's her surroundings. True. What? Okay, the last confirmed kill we had was the twin getting speared outside, right? One of the leaving the rainstorm. Yes, confirmed. Then, okay, no, yes. no, so no the it would have been Axel gone. getting corkscrewed. Oh, okay, no, well, before that, the last one before Axel. Yeah. Why are you guys the... saying Axel? Axel was the doctor. You're right, Ted. You're, Ted, no, Jimmy, Crispin Glover. Kristen Glover is upstairs. He's not dead Kristen yet. Kristen Glover's a different person. Kristen in Glover entirely. is the one who gets corkscrewed. He gets corkscrewed. Oh, that's right. Because so, okay, he came so down here's, the gloat. Here's, well, his hand gets right. corkscrewed, and then he gets, uh, I don't know. Chopped? Chopped. He gets chopped. Jason wanted to smell it. Yeah. So, okay, what? this is the part where I'm like. <laughs> what? Uh, you like, you got to smell it. How can you know unless you smell it? This is the part where I'm like, okay, I'm paying attention now. Oh, <laughs> I understand. That's gross. <laughs> That's the part where I'm paying attention. So Jason, we just think he was over at the family house with little Corey, right? Because Corey's getting spooked out, but we don't actually see him. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm just, just tell me when I'm wrong here. Yeah, big, strong Jason was just over there with little Corey. <laughs> so then he then goes over. Crispin Glover comes downstairs to gloat with Teddy, gives him the girl's panties. After the girl said, hey, I'll be right back. Don't move. He fucking moves. Yeah, so that's well, not how you get laid again. Why'd he move? So she's in the bathroom. Crispin goes back downstairs, gloats with Teddy, wants to go get the wine, gets the corkscrew. Jason is now back over there, kills him with the corkscrew. Then we cut back to the other twin who's upstairs. 
and she keeps looking out this window, so we know something's going to happen. This is a they do a long, long shot on this window here. I thought it was. Oh. Jason I, is, I didn't. I just thought she was. Yeah, so, I just thought she was. Thought she was. I just thought she was. Yeah. Well, anyway, so Jason somehow he runs from the kit. So first he's ran from the house over to the kitchen, kills there. Now he has ran back outside, scaled the side of the house. Okay, he scaled the side of the house now immediately. Pulls her out the window, like does the kill at the window. Then he goes. That's what my fly like an eagle comment was about. Her being pulled out the window. Uh. Out the window. Then he goes. He goes back. Back down, down. Back into the house. the kitchen. Or no, or over to the family house. Which, would she have died from that? Yeah. Okay, so she he goes back downstairs, back. Oh, yeah. That was the note there. The car, there's no way she hit that with so much force that the car just fucking explodes out and pancakes. Those things were solid fucking metal back then. You're a big station wagon fan. I fucking love station wagons. Now, but how much anyway, do so, you fucking love station wagons? Uh, a lot. How much do you love like, fucking station wagons? <laughs> I, if I were a dragon, if you were a dragon, would that be like your be, go-to car? Yes, I would be all up in that, behind that, all around that. Try to get me off of that wagon, okay? That's all I'm saying. Oh, goes would back be, it, down no. to the kitchen. <laughs> goes back down to the kitchen. Then goes and does a kill on Ted, right? Yes. So he could have just killed Crispin, killed Ted, walked upstairs, killed the twin. I honestly think that's probably how it was shot, but, or like how it well, would have been, and then it was edited where like but that. That wouldn't make sense though, because that would mean he went upstairs just to climb out a window to go over to the other side to pull her out the window. I don't think he went upstairs to climb out a window. He just climbed. No, I think he scaled the wall. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing. He's he's ha- he's having he's making it fun for him. Yeah, and then he oh, we saw the other two characters are alive. They're having shower sex. I forgot about those. Is that um, that's Sarah and Rob? Yeah, I don't even. No, Sarah Sarah and Doug. Sarah and Doug. Yeah. So we had other characters. I completely forgot we even in it. They were downstairs watching the stag film still. Then Teddy's left alone. Teddy's about to get up and bring the teddy bear up to the screen because now he's going to get intimate with the stag film, and even that shuts him down. Was he going to molest that teddy bear? We was going to have a threesome with a teddy bear and then the lady who was on the screen, but then Jason. Jason rightfully shut that down. He shut that down, but he also ruined the projector screen, which, you know, that sucked, because now who's going to watch a movie? Well, and then we get back upstairs again, the two other people. So he's gone house across the way, kitchen, upstairs, downstairs. Now he's got to go back upstairs. To think the... of all like the muddy, think of the dirt he is tracking through that house. He, yeah, because it's storming out. They have their, they have their, their, their shower sex. He pulls the dude through the glass shower doors kills him on that and then the girl friend is walking she's around, been which I blow to... drying her hair and that's why she didn't hear that that's why she didn't hear it also wanted to point out we've always complained about man how do they always get those towels like wrapped around themselves to stay and all that in these movies they're not heck they're they're a different type of towel i figured out they're called bath sheets and they're a much longer towel and i own them now and it's it's how like do I, get I can wrap the, i want to wrap them around my bath. massive donger yeah, you need it. I type in bath sheets when you're looking for them. They're, my bath they're just sheets a lot for my longer. massive so, donger. That's what I'll type in. All right, because I thought uh, I thought it was like beach towels, but beach towels aren't meant to be that absorbent. Hey, so you're just you're just now joining towels. Towel Guys, a new hit <laughs> podcast. Yeah. yeah, and then I've got a note here that says tangerine. Oh, tangerine. That's because before he was killed in the shower, he was singing tangerine. Great. Yep. And then he uh, he he thinks he, first he thinks his girlfriend came back in the bathroom. And then he d- she doesn't say anything because someone turned the lights off. Then he thinks it's Teddy. And he's like, oh, I dropped the soap. Oh, hope you're not in here, uh, big strong man Teddy. I think it would have been very bold of the movie if Jason stripped down and hopped in with him. <laughs> Got room for one more? Very, yeah, very progressive. But then he made the, yes. Yeah, but then he made the gay joke and Jason doesn't appreciate gay jokes. Was it he a joke? His, he doesn't understand his sexual thought. I don't think it was a joke. <laughs> I think he would have been fine if Teddy had hopped in. I think he would have, probably. Then, okay, so he goes back upstairs, kills the boyfriend of the shower. Then the girlfriend is running around freaking out, calling for help. She runs back downstairs. Jason had to go back outside the house downstairs to kill her with an axe through the front door from the outside. Yeah. So to be clear, he is gone house across the street to the kitchen. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. (laughs) He's getting his steps in for the day, yeah. Holy shit. They did not plan out that kill map or anything. That was chaos. 
did that did that did that flag for either of you guys or was that just me that was obsessing over like what the fuck yep all you buddy well i'm right just saying <laughs> i'm right then he goes across the Ooh, street however when, when jason we see who th- we don't s- okay i don't know that we see who throws the axe we see the axe being thrown and it hits her and then it immediately cuts to um tommy in the house and so the the editing made my brain go wait did tommy just throw an axe but that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the, the mom threw the, the neighbors again i'm like geez but no that that didn't happen yeah yeah so now all of our kids over there away from the family are dead right they're all they're all dead now why all does jason is... move bodies for fun yeah it's because he has because the the one chick was trying to leave the house out the back and the body was pegged up with two big nails out the door spread there yep and she could have crawled under his legs, but he, she, he ran to the other side. Um, yeah, is that a... More importantly, she opened the door, and uh, the, the the one twin was, like, lying on the ground. And rather than just climbing over her, she chose to go through a window. Yeah, no, it's she's... Look, forget the sanctity of the dead. You, you push past that. But yeah, why does he start... He has posed before. Did we already ask, like, is that just another, like, well, Michael did it. But Michael, they tried to justify that, like, recreating this, his sister's... Yeah, grave I thought he was just trying to like use, gonna he's use him playing. for decoration. He's just playing. But how do you hang a how do you hang a body up outside the kitchen? Like, did he have a hammer and some? Those are some big stakes in the hands. Well, he's a strong boy. He could just probably put it in his hand with his with his with his fist with his rock fist. Throw him it up. It did make me. If you're feeling it when I drop this, yeah. Burr, burr, yeah. Burr. It did make me uh, cringe though when he just walked there and just pulled the body down and just tore through the hands. Yeah, that was that that yeah. That's when Trish. Uh, Trish wouldn't go underneath the dead body. That's after her and Rob go over to the house and leave Tommy alone again. They go to explore the house and they go down in the basement. And yeah, you're right. Rob is the only person Jason can't just kill. And he's like, he's killing me and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it. I don't like he's it at all. Run, man. Run. And she stands there. Run, run. run. Do and by something. the way, maybe if you had helped out. I was like, Trish, you're dumb. And then she leaves, but then she immediately comes back after he stops screaming. Okay. Like, what do you... Yeah. Like, oh, are you all right down there? I know you were screaming that he was killing you, but I just want to be sure. <laughs> like, he's and then Jason does a Jason does a grab underneath the stairs. Like, Which Jason, you don't come on, do you did not grab. know. That's dangerous. You don't do a grab. But also, there's no way he would have assumed that she's just going to come back down in the basement. You literally just murdered the guy in front of her <laughs> two seconds ago. He's like... Huh. Okay, where can I wait for this? I want to see the movie of all the times Jason waited in the wrong spot and didn't get to do it. Like all the failed movies where he doesn't kill anyone because no one ever. (laughs) Or where he tries to grab him and someone just steps right on his fingers and it it doesn't ah, work. ah, Ah. Like, oh, like I'm going to hide over here in this. I'm going to hide over here in cabin number seven and they don't even book out cabin number seven. Like, God damn it. He's just there the whole time. (laughs) And then, yeah, she won't run under the dead body that's been propped up outside the kitchen and tears it down and it's uncomfortable. But then she runs back to the house and it's just her and Tommy and Tommy gets got through the window. And I think that's the first time Jason targets a kid, but it also is that the first time he has the opportunity. It's the first time there's been a kid. Um, right. Y- yes. First time. Yeah. And then for some reason I've got a note that says, uh, er, it's me, Rob. Let me in. I feel bad. Oh, Wait, that's after they boarded themselves through the window. <laughs> well, that's after they they get away from Jason. They go up high in the room, and then he starts jiggling the handle. And I was that was oh, gonna be okay. Jason pretending to be. <laughs> it's me, Rob. Uh, it's me, Rob. Hey. I, let me in. I love turtles. I feel much better now. I feel much better now. <laughs> Who's on TV? You are. She takes the <laughs> the little TV and slams it down on Jason's <laughs> head. Which is this before or after the Freddy movie? Were oh, I think this is before. Ooh. This feels before. This feels before. Like Freddy, that the feels Freddy like one that would started be in the later. 90s. Yeah, the Freddy one started later, and that's that's definitely one of the sequels. But he's laying down, and I'm like, "Don't wake Daddy! <laughs> Don't wake Daddy! Don't wake Daddy! <laughs> Tiptoe! You're not Don't gonna wake like Daddy up, Daddy! Yeah, like of course he wakes up. But I'm like, I have a note that says that's a dude who dove out that window. Did someone just do a dive again? She does That's a dive. dive. Talking about? She does a dive. Now, this is like the overhead oh, sh- Halloween shot. And I don't shot. think it was a dude. Yes, yes. No, I'm saying I think that was a dude stunt double. No, That's I don't think I was it was. Thinking. You don't? You think it was a female stunt double? If it's a dude, he's wearing panties. Yeah. He is wearing panties. Yeah, they would and do there's that. No Those bulge. legs? That dude had some mass. Oh, you caught... Tucking. You caught the front area there. Maybe, I just, maybe I'm just thinking when she's lying on the ground. 
when it's on the ground, it's her again. Mm. You, They're not going to just use the stunt double for the rest of the movie. You might be right. I've said it looked like she put on some mass when she was coming out. Well, the it's window. obviously not her, but female stunt doubles exist. They do. No, I agree. But that's why. But I was like, no, that feels like a, if that was a female stunt double, I'm sorry. I thought you were a man. But I did say it was a really good dive, though. But now Jason get, gets 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 <laughs> back, been a gets back up with him. Hold on. Kenny's uh, having a stroke. I read my notes and got confused. Fair enough. <laughs> Jason catches back up with him and now he's got the sister and he's trying to kill her. But then Tommy. Well, no, they're takes you know, off. Trish Tommy's, and Jason are playing like a weird game of tag. Yeah. Because uh, she had, does she have the machete? Every, she, every time she turns around, he stops. Yeah, it's like a, a boo on Mario. It's like a she gets boo him in on the hand. Mario. Yeah, she she gets him in the oh, hand. Slices right? it open. Yeah. Yeah, like, like right it. down in between the finger. Then she also gets a shot across his chest, right? Yeah, and it, while this is happening, Tommy has run up. Has taken off. Has somehow got a hold of like I think it's Rob's newspaper clippings articles about Jason as a kid, the killings, they were all Rob's, that kind of stuff. Uh Rob's sack that he left. I, I put down something that I, I laughed at something here, but I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what when laughed Rob's what sack was split open. <laughs> <laughs> when Rob's sack was exposed, uh Tommy took the uh the newspaper articles. Yeah. And so but now he's up there like buzz cutting his head. Hey Ryan, I know this is your favorite part, so what does Tommy do? Oh, God. He says, I am beautiful in every single way. Uh, he gives himself a little... Now, do you ever you ever cut a doll's hair? No. Oh, why'd I do that? that Never mind. Don't, don't go silent on me. That's fine. Okay, well, he goes full Britney Spears. Have you ever cut a doll's hair? Yeah. That's problem behavior. Why? What do you mean, why? Why not? It doesn't grow back. It doesn't grow back, dog. Why did you have dolls? Yeah, why did you have dolls, dude? Why can't, Was this recent? Why can't I have dolls? Why can't you have dolls? Why can't I cut a doll's head? Hair. It's your doll. We all had. We're dismembering dolls now. Okay, Sid. It's fucking Sid from Toy Story is what you are. Fucking little creep. That dude grew up to be a big old pervo. I know it. Nah. (laughs) He he, opened his sack up all over the place. You can do that. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, My favorite part of the movie is instead of doing the, oh, what's her name? Who was the part two final girl? You're asking the wrong man here. Jenny. Instead of doing Ginny's, I'm going to be mommy on you, Tommy's going, oh, I'm going to be the reflection of you, and it's just going to confuse you. Like it, yeah. like, But yep. I saw it, and for the first time in this series, my jaw dropped, because... Did you, did you remember that happened? No. I did. <laughs> so this was like, it's, it, it was all new. I'm like, what? That is one of the things that I always vividly remember. Hey, don't you remember that I'm you? Oh, it's me. We don't, you. It's me. You. We don't do a murder. Oh my goodness. And then I don't. So this gives this this gives the opening to like impale him and hack him down a little bit. But then they find out that Jason's still alive, and so Tommy, as buzz cut Jason, is now just <sighs> hacking and slashing at Jason's corpse. And I'm like, this, and this movie and went from okay to awesome. Yeah, Tommy isn't playing around. He is, like I said, I think he's experienced. He's watched horror. He knows, like, no, he ain't dead. I'm going to make sure he dead. And he goes a little crazy with it. And they think that it was, they think it was a little crazy. They do. Now. So then yeah. Jason's dead. Jason, Jason's dead. Happy ending. Now, kinda. Well, I want to ask. So, Dan, why do you think the mom's alive? No body. So it's just that we didn't see her body. You didn't or see that her we didn't kill see her or kill body. Either. So she goes out, does a scream. Does a scream, fakes her death to get she... away from these kids that she doesn't want. <laughs> okay, oh. I just didn't know if you had some other. Her other plan theory. had been to run away with the uh, with the hunter, Rob, but the daughter but, swooped in. Well, no, uh, Jason killed him. Is the bigger problem there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a problem. So I should have said Tommy swooped in. <laughs> Tommy swooped in. <laughs> she found that his tastes uh, were not quite. What you might oh, say, God. conventional. Yeah, the young blood. We get to the hospital, happy ending, right? And the sister's in the room. She's asking about her brother. And it's like, oh, well, you can see him for a second. And he runs, and he's still got the bad. Like, no one went ahead and took the time to finish shaving his head. Also, impressive that he was able to shave his head that smoothly in the parts he decided to go that bald, like, without cutting himself. Like, that kid knows his way around a razor. Yeah, you can't account- accomplish that with just, a, like, a hair trimmer. That's a... And that's a straight yes, that was, blade that was, to your head. Yeah, and to do it 
do it that quickly and not cut yourself, especially around the back and stuff where you can't see, that's also a very, very unbelievable portion of now if they would if he had pulled off like a bald cap there Amazing. I would that I would have I would have believed that. I yes. would have been happier with that. That would have been awesome. But uh yeah, Tommy runs in for a hug, we do a thing, and then the camera focuses on him and then he looks at the camera and he has kind of a He's got the darkest look. eyes. The devil's yeah. eyes. So kid going through traumatic experience going crazy becoming a killer for the next movie halloween 4 stole this yeah because this movie was made in 1984 halloween 4 comes out 1988 yeah that's definitely a good enough uh gap right but does that actually happen it's so in halloween 4 the niece jamie lloyd um, becomes stabs her stepmother with a pair of scissors at the end of the movie and dr loonis oh no 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 well, okay, we'll talk about the next Friday when we get to the ne- <laughs> to the next Friday. Well, I don't know how you can we rip do. something off that doesn't happen. The but idea, they set up the for set up, the like idea that you're going to take the child and turn them into the monster for the next one. Just that idea. None of them. None of them go with it. Right. But they set it up at the end of the film. Mm. But they don't deliver on it right. in the next now, one. I will. I will say though, Dale, this is not the last time we see Tommy. It's the last time we see Tommy played by this actor. What do you mean? This is the last Friday. Oh, does he get a spinoff series since this is the last Friday? Yeah. I wonder if that was their angle, like the final chapter of Jason and the Voorhees family, and it was going to be Tommy. But well, that's not really the direction they went with the next one, is it? It is not. Do you guys want to do a? We're we're at the the third, like thirty three percent, a third of the way through the series now. There's twelve of them. Do you want to have a a ranking right now of what we've seen, or do you want to just save all rankings for our recap? First one, followed by this one. No. Second one. Oh, God, this is hard. Yeah, I thought you really didn't like this one. I'm picking which dumpster fire doesn't smell as bad. So, oh, God, see, the problem is Ginny is just so much better than Alice. But I think the first movie is better than the second movie, which is better than the... Th- so I'd go one, two, f- one, four, two, three. Only because of the ending on four. That's it. Dale, you got yours? Nope. For me, it's one. I think it's the best overall movie. Like, you had a, you ended up with a decent script. You had some great, interesting things you did with it. Uh, you, a lot of great setups, good kills, everything. It's a toss-up for me between four and two as to which one uh, I like it like better. Because I thought Jason looked stupid in the hockey mask in two. The, the, he wasn't the in a... The burlap sack oh, was... Okay. Oh, sorry. He looked... Yeah, he looks stupid in the hockey, hockey mask in three. The burlap sack was good in two. I like the cast in two. Mm. We've had the, the original Doomsayer back for a bit. I take it back. One, two, oh, four, I'm three. Gonna, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going one, two, four, three. Oh, that's what I said. But it. Yeah, that's what you switched. Okay, so to. I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Oh, oh past five. Yeah. Six. Then I'm going to be controversial. Two. Flip flops. Oh. Oh, too fast. Too, too, too floppy. Two, one, eight, four, and then the newest one. All those movies blur together for me, except for Tokyo. I bet when you ask me at the end of this, I wouldn't be surprised if four is ahead of two. Mine. They're very close. I really enjoyed this one. I thought there was, as I said at the beginning of the episode, I thought there was a nice, noticeable jump in quality. I think taking the extra time to make the movie like really helped, like two years instead of one year. Uh, like I said, the music was back on point. The kills, I like again. Lean into the gore. Like that's that's if you're not gonna have us care about the characters, at least let us care about the kills. It's the Final Destination approach or the Saw approach. At a certain point, I'm watching these movies just to see how you creatively kill people. Because at this point, the story, it's somehow he's gonna keep coming back. We all know the drill. So at least make what I'm here to actually see interesting. If I'm coming just for meat and potatoes, make sure it's a good cut of meat. Don't give me some you know ass meat. Give him some turtle meat. So this is the final one. Clearly, we're not going to be back a year later. Well, no, we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. So, OK, we compared it to the other one, other movies. But did you guys like this? movie? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Th- this I could see it this had being a dog. The, it did have a dog that had a girlfriend. Tommy said so. Yeah. With your girlfriend. What? Said it earlier. Yep. The dog was outside the door. It's like somebody's there. It's like, oh, were you out with your girlfriend? Oh, Gordon? see, that's why the dog lit. Well, did the dog live? No, I didn't see the dog. Wait, dog. You said no. The dog went through the dog. Because one of my notes is, how much is that doggy in the window? Bye bye, Gordon. But the dog threw itself through the window. Yeah, but we don't, we, don't, we don't. We don't see the dog run off. So it's so dead. here's oh, so no. maybe the dog had just broken up with his girlfriend then. Okay, but 
The, yeah, it's real sad. They didn't really kill a dog in this. The dog learned their lesson. The dog killed from, itself from part one. <laughs> out of grief. Out of sadness. Oh no, the dog hated himself so the much. Dog hated himself. We don't do recommendations on these. We just move on. Uh, well, can I Let's... recommend something? Sure. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. I just then wanted I... to know that I could. <laughs> Horrible people, it's me, Bear, Doomsayer Bear. You didn't see me in the movie because I knew bad things were coming. Well, the next movie these fools are going to be watching is Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Bear Ginning. <laughs> oh, it's a beginning of something, I'll tell ya. Hey, hey, these people at Horrible Opinions Podcast really like it when you tweet at them, Instagram them, Show them any kind of love, like an email or even a review. Anything, really. It's like the honey on... It's like the honey on your really out there dance moves. Yeah, that's it. So go tell your friends and family and strangers and come eat some more honey off of our cool dance moves. Yeah. Okay, boyos. It's a relief to be done with our uh, final chapter of... Friday the 13th, so perhaps tomorrow we'll be back with you all with uh, a new beginning of sorts. Oh, yes. Yes. So, you know, signing off oh. for our, our final episode, even though we'll have a hundred more after this. As always, I've been your sick dance move crispy boy Crispin host, Kenny. I'm your weird hiker man sitting on a bed next to your young child, Daniel. I've been hacking and slashing my way into your heart, Ryan. And I've also just you, Ryan, as a child. Did you know? What? He's just yeah. you as I'm a just child. You, as oh. a child. Did you know? <laughs> yeah, I had to shave my head kind of bald. No, when I was a kid, big go curly afro, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you had that ramen noodle hair like the Justin Timberlake. Yeah. JT, he's yeah. a triple threat. Actually, quadruple. Yeah. He can quadruple. sing. He can dance, he can act, and what's that fourth threat? Fuck. Big dick. Yep. Laying it down. We'll see you tomorrow. Massive hog. On a surprise <laughs> you. sequel to the final chapter. <laughs> bye bye. Don't fuck turtles. <laughs>